Okay, in this section we look at special prod products. I uh, referred to foil in the prior uh, video, but here it is sort of spelled out. If I've got a binomial times a binomial, and this is all that foil works for, A times C would be first term times first term. The O is the outer terms multiplied. The B uh, times C would be your inner terms and B times D is your last terms. That's where the FOIL comes from. And it's just a, a, a nice easy way to remember how to multiply a binomial times a binomial. So I'm going to multiply the first one. Of course I'm going to let you pause me and you do the next two. So X times X will give me X squared outsides of plus 4X insides a plus 3x last times last is a positive 12. Always check to see if you've got some like terms that you can combine. So now again pause me and see if you come up with what I do on these. It'd be a 15x squared outside inside last times last. I can combine last one. First times first I have got six outside, inside, last times last. Be careful of signs. So it'd be a six minus 15 that would give me a 23x plus 20x squared. Unless the directions say otherwise, that is as good of an answer as if it were written in standard form. You do have to look at the directions. I would accept either. Now, because it says special products, I'm going to look at the next part. The sum, uh, the product of the sum and difference of two terms. This will become in, this will come in handy when we start factoring, which is in the next chapter. But look at the answer here. The first item is squared minus the second item squared. The only way that can occur is if the first value in both parentheses are the same, second value is the same, but the signs are the exact opposite. I'm going to foil this first one so you can see what is going on. Notice these are opposites. They eliminate one another. That would be my answer. Now if I knew that formula, then I could go first times first and last times last. And I would be done with it. But you have to remember the conditions that have to be met in order for it to work. This one, C. That's the same, that's the same, signs are opposite. So 5 times 5, I'm going to have 25. 8 to the 4th times 8 to the 4th is 8 to the 8th. Last times last. So that one's done. Now the next ones, I'm going to leave up to you if you want. But sometimes too many formulas can really have issues with your head. But on these, you can go ahead and go right back to foiling. It works the same way and quite honestly I did not remember these rules because I could care less. I could get it another way. So x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9. But notice what they're trying to say in this formula. If I've got a binomial squared I can square the front end, I can square the back end, if you'll notice that's what happened here. And as for the middle, I multiply A times B and double it. So A times B, that would be 3X, double it would give me 6X. We'll try the shortcut on here. Square the first one, so it would be 9X squared, square the last one. Multiply and double. So 3x times 7 is 21 and double that would be a plus 42x. And if you foil that, it should work out that way. So foiling or using the formula, it's all up to you. 
We'll see if we can do it the quick way on this one. Foil it. Negative 4 times negative 4 gives me a plus 16. Notice what happens up here. Because if I did last times last, that would be a negative b times negative b, and that would be a positive b squared. So now it says multiply the 2 and double. It will be a minus. So it would be 4x double 8x. I think I'm going to foil this because I feel like it. Notice it's doubled here. I want you to do it the way you're comfortable with and the way that you will get consistently get the problems correct. And that's it for this one.